The formal mission of U equals me is stated as a movement of conscientious objectors to intolerance, or simply stated, a movement against intolerance. And the exploration of that statement really gets to what what are the similarities between people? What do we all have in common? Why are we really equal as humankind? And that's what we're going to explore. This podcast is about exploring conversational thoughts and interviews with extraordinary people living ordinary lives of well-being. Discussions on exactly what well-being means to people day to day, factors that can influence it both internally and externally. We glean insights on how to survive and thrive in feeling satisfied in life with a greater sense of purpose. Guest hosts bring fresh new outlooks and opinions from spirituality, science, worldviews, and standing up and speaking out for what's right. It's pretty interesting. Man needs each other and planet Earth to survive. Check it out. I think you'll like what you hear. Welcome to our You Equals Me podcast. Family and friends, we deeply appreciate your support and feedback from around the globe. We are back after taking off July and August, and we're excited for today's podcast. I'm your host, Cindy Jarvis. Today's podcast is on thoughts about our Afghanistan sisters. I wanted to share with you a session I recently listened to from Blue Soul Earth. Renee and Anthony are teachers, voices, and healers behind Blue Soul Earth, and often referred to as modern mystics. I was so moved by this, I just had to share. For the last 20 years the U.S. has been in Afghanistan, there have been a great many benefits. Afghan women are holding positions now like never before, in government, in jobs, in education, and even within the military. Women are now highly educated than ever before, and we can see in their protests that they will not stand for this takeover. There is a sense of liberation, a sense of femininity, a sense of freedom, and this sense of power that they will no longer stand for anything but. Prediction. The probabilities are that the Taliban are not going to last very long. How long is very long? We can't be sure, but we know they will not stay in power. This is because women are going to rise up. They will not stand for it. Well, what will happen to the women? Women will perish and suffer as they have in the past, but our governments are going to do something about it. Governments. We're going to see people rise up in Afghanistan, and they will not stand for this type of regime any longer, especially women. Women are armed not only with knowledge and know-how, but they, but they have guns as well, with heart and compassion, commitment, loyalty, and dedication, and most of all, resilience. And because we are now a world community, the entire world is watching Afghanistan and how the women are going to rise up and governments, not just government, but I'll say people will form a barrier around these women and allow them and help them continue with their struggles. You cannot stop communication now. This is not a hundred years ago where you had to write letters or call on a telephone. You will always be in communication at all times, no matter how they try to cut it off. They won't succeed. They can't. They're not that sophisticated. As the consciousness of a global society shifts, obviously this impacts the women in Afghanistan and vice versa because of what happened there internally in the last 20 years. This doesn't only affect women in Afghanistan, but all women around the planet. What they see occur now in Afghanistan is going to be representative of women's suffrage. That is to say, where women have come from, how they have risen, and how they will rise again. Afghanistan in this rising again. This once this ascension once again of women, as they are representing women all around the world. The plight, the fight, the struggle that women have had since Mary Magdalene walked on this earth plane. It will not be maintained any longer. 
As a human community, we are now rising above all of this. We are starting to finally see that women are equal, if not better, but equal to men as well. And that is a necessity to balance these energies so that we as a human community can continue to balance ourselves. Stop fighting, stop warring with each other, stop torturing each other. We're much better now than we were a hundred years ago, but women in this part of the world are going to rise up. And women all around this globe are going to assist them to do just that. It's happening right now. Women in Afghanistan, you are not alone. We, the women of the world, are here with you. Mary Magdalene is here with you. She is here to assist us and work through everybody and anyone who wishes for her to come through to give them assistance, to give them strength so that they can rise up against this regime called the Taliban. All the women around the world that are listening to this, what can you do, even men, what can you do as human, as a human community to assist these women, to assist people, to resist this type of thinking, to resist this type of regime? We're much stronger as a community than we are as a one. We know this is a trying time for everyone, especially those in Afghanistan, but remember our problems in comparison to those of the women in Afghanistan are small. One of the messages of the group Magdalene Sisters uh, with Renee and Anthony's Blue Soul Earth is that we all have our own issues we have to deal with. And there could be countless things we've gone through that have challenged us, whether it's divorce or loss of a job. But when we can step outside of ourselves and look at other people with compassion and empathy, especially women who are going through even tougher times than we are. What that allows us to do is to forget our woes just for a little while, forget our woes even just for a few minutes, to rise outside of our individual consciousness and move into a collective consciousness of thinking about one another. We can open our minds to moving out of this individual collectiveness, this ego-driven collectiveness into a collective consciousness of everybody. Because when you move into that collective consciousness, you start to forget, literally forget your woes, your problems. They don't seem as big anymore. And when you start to give energy to this collectiveness of others, this is when we truly begin to expand and feel better about who we are. These are Mary Magdalene's words to us about Afghanistan women from the Blue Soul Earth. Please take part and do not sit on the sidelines and do nothing. Take part and you'll see your collective consciousness work together for the benefit of all. This energy is so powerful. It's like a female Martin Luther King. We have this ability to contribute and make a change in the world. Please, please share this message. Please. For more information about the work of Blue Soul Earth, visit www.bluesoulearth.com. Also, resources for uh, friends and family members in Afghanistan are listed in the show notes, but here are a few. Women's Regional Network. Uh, the website for that is www.womensregionalnetwork.org. And it's women globally working to advance women in, in Afghanistan, India, and Pakistan. Another one is Vital Voice Emergency Fund. You can contact Shabagori at shabagorivitalvoices.org. Open Society Foundation. Uh, this uh, uh, foundation recently announced a $10 million emergency fund for Afghan civilians in peril. That website is www.opensocietyfoundations.org. Also, Resources to support newly arriving Afghan refugees is also listed in the show notes, but you can donate to support newly arriving Afghan families. You can sponsor a family arriving in your community. If you're a landlord who has rental units that you're willing to rent to newly arriving families, you can email refugeewelcome at cwsglobal.org to learn more about how you can help in providing a safe place to land for our Afghan refugees, um, for our Afghan refugee neighbors. Additional 
resources will also be in the show notes. Please, please share this podcast. This one is so important in the understanding and the plight that women face around the world. Global consciousness is the understanding. One world, one humanity. This was an interesting shift for me, my thoughts about Afghanistan, which is why I wanted to share our message to the Afghanistan women. I felt such despair when I read my newspaper or watched the news. I know that if we stay in our brain, we'll see despair, but if we stay in our hearts, we'll see a new future. And in thinking about it and thinking about the power of the divine feminine, I realized we could shift this energy into something bigger and more powerful by believing in our sisterhood. Women, mothers, grandmothers, sisters are the gatekeepers and always have been. Women are life nurturers and we will see a shift in a different world order in our future. We are witness to the dominant male energy in what has been created in our world of politics and climate abuses, not to mention the abuses of women around the world. As a culture, the male energy has polarized the planet. It is time for the feminine to come into balance and rebalance the masculine principle. We are moving towards a time where female energy and the female voice is emerging in all aspects of the planet. She starts with sovereignty for everyone. To be sovereign is to be your own authority and not to be ruled by someone else. To stand in your own birthright and to be fully, to be a fully autonomous human being. Everything and everyone is equal with each other and within this earth. We are all indigenous to the planet, no matter where you come from. We as women will no longer stand over any imposed limitation. We hope you join us in the rebalancing of our feminine strength and sending Mary Magdalene's energy around the world to assist Afghanistan. We thank you again for your support in the U Equals Me Foundation and would invite you to join our One Worlders group at uequalsme.org for a complimentary ebook, Wisdom Along the Way, a book of notes and quotes. You can also support the U Equals Me Foundation by the purchase of our logo wear at U Equals Me Etsy Store.com, all one word in your Google search. We have lined up some fascinating interviews coming up on this podcast. We hope you listen. Please subscribe and share with love and life to you and yours.